Shekin was in that film, uh, but they ended up cutting my footage, you know. Um, she shoots straight. I had a scene in there, um, but my footage ended up getting cut there, and they just used my image on a computer screen as a bad guy. And, you know, at that point, I was like, you know, when is when am I going to get the lucky break? You know, I would go to auditions and everything, and they say they like me and everything, but it was more gimmicky than anything. Finally, I'll never forget, I think it was like year three, it was like the third or fourth year under contract with Chuchi Ling, and my contract was actually about to expire. Um, I was in Jim Sai Choi, and I go into a bathroom, and I'm just, I'm, you know, do what you do. I go over to the sink, I wash my hands, and I'm looking in the mirror at the guy next to me, and I'm like, wait a second, that's uh, Chang Hong Yip, uh, Paul Chang. Most people remember him from uh, Duel of the Iron Fist. He rubbed his nose, Ching Ching. Um, executions of Shaolin. He's always the comic relief guy, you know, it's hundreds of films. Uh, he actually was in the bathroom and he was like, hey, what are you, like, what's the black, he talked like a mafia guy, what's the black guy doing in Hong Kong, right? I said, uh, Lisa Gong Guadalwa. He was like, whoa. He's like, Lisa Gong Guadalwa. I said, oh, I'm Lisa Gong Guadalwa. And so then we start talking. He's like, well, what's the black guy doing in, in Hong Kong? And I told him, I said, you know, I want to do movies and things of that nature. And, you know, He's, I said, Chuchi Ling is my manager and everything. And he did not speak ill will of Chuchi Ling at all. He just said, uh, Chuchi Ling is a good guy, but in Hong Kong, he's known as the Dai Yi San, which is basically a medicine doctor. Um, he's like, I'm going to, he said, tell you what, meet me at the Nika Hotel this evening. Uh, I have some people I want to introduce to you. Uh, so I left the bathroom. I talked to Chu Chi Ling when I came out. I said, I met this guy. And he said, no, 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 go for it. Go for it. You know? So that night I went to the Nico hotel and I'm sitting there. I'm alone. I got my photos with me, you know, and all in walks Paul Chang and Chen Quan Tai. So I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. So then Chen Quan Tai comes in, he sits down, we start talking and everything. Um, then, uh, Chang Hong, uh, David Chang, Chang Da Wei, he walks in. I'm like, whoa, this is like, like everyone that I've ever dreamed like right now. So I'm I'm a little, I'm a little in shock, you know, but I got to remain cool. So he walks in and then uh, we start talking and everything. They listen to me speak Chinese and everything. They were like, wow, this is it. And then uh, Chen Quan Tai starts saying, hey, I'm working on something I might need you for. And then I look over at the door and then walks uh, Dai Guo, Samo. So Samo walks in, I'm just, immediately I break out in a cold sweat um paul does the introduction samo sits down we all have coffee and samo says um i start showing him these photos i had and you know poses and everything he's looking at the photos and he's going through them really quick and i'm saying oh my god you know your mind is playing tricks like he he doesn't like these it's like i'm just so beneath his level you know and he says can you fight i said yeah i can fight he said can you fight four or five guys at one time i said well i'm not you but I, I think I can handle myself, but I'm not you, you know, per se. He was like, oh, okay, no worries. So a little small talk, you know, I didn't really know him that well or anything. You know, I was kind of intimidated by him, really, because he does have that stature about him. Um, and then he said, all right, I got to go. And so now I'm like really depressed because I said, oh, my God, he's the first to leave. He's the biggest one I wanted to see. And I just don't think I made a great impression. Gets up, says his coach as he leaves. Cut to maybe two hours later. Um, Paul's like, let's go, let's all go grab something to eat. Um, I want you to introduce to someone else. That night, my idol, my crush came in. That was Lily Lee. Lily Lee from uh, a lot of the shows. She walks in and I'm like, oh my God, I had the biggest crush on her, you know? Um, so we're all sitting down eating and the phone rings. When the phone rings, uh, Paul answers and it's Samo. And I could hear him saying, hoa, hoa, moment haya, which is no problem. Hoa. And then he hangs up. And then he looks at me, he says, well, Bobby, you got your dream. And I'm like, what? He says, Samuel decided to change the ending of his movie and incorporate you. And I was just like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. You know, the big break that I was waiting for. And that was a uh, whole book type here, uh, Gambling Ghost. Um, and so that's where that's really where it all began. But it wasn't all gravy, you know, it really wasn't because that particular film, my first, I'll just cut real quick. My first night on set with that film, um, it was Mang Hoi, Yun Biu, uh, uh, my, my, uh, my big brother, uh, Colin Cho, Nai Sing, 
everybody, James Tien from Fist of Fury, Billy Chow. It was an all Chong Fa, all star cast. And I'm not going to lie, I was a little intimidated. Uh, we get through the scenes, we're working out some of the action, some of the action I had difficulties with. It was a 16 punch combination set that I couldn't really capture, you know, and it took four or five hours for me to get the sequence, you know, uh, Colin Cho, he was assigned to me to help me, uh, gain, gain confidence and learn the maneuvers. Um, but every time I messed up, Sam wouldn't get mad. He would just go over and read his newspaper until I was ready. And I just said, well, my first and last film, trust and believe. I can't get this down. It's over, you know? So I, and I'll tell you what, what happened uh, as a footnote. So after I do that, we do the film. I finished two weeks early. Um, they owe me 5,000 US. Uh, so I told the producers, I said, they say, well, can you forfeit some of the money because we're finishing early type of thing? I said, I'll forfeit the money on one condition if you allow me to speak to Samo. And they were like, what? I said, yeah, I want to speak to Samo. Um, so they go in and talk to him. I could see him waving. He said, come over, Bobby. So I come over and he said, what's up? I said, well, the producer said that, you know, I'm finishing early. They owe me some money. I said, but um, I'm willing to forfeit that money on one condition. And he was like, well, what's the condition? I said, I'll forfeit the money if you just allow me to work with you again in the future, it's keep the money. He says, huh? He says, you're willing to forfeit the money just to work with me again? I said, 100%. He said, deal. And that was the smartest decision that I ever made in my life. Like you and I wouldn't really be sitting here right now if I let money and greed dictate me that night, you know? Um, as a result of that, I did Gamma Ghosts. I came back to America. Um, there was a, a year in between. I didn't really get any more work. I, I went back to the airlines and then I get a phone call from Samo. Uh, he was coming to New York to, to, to buy a property. He wanted me to meet him at the airport. I met him at the airport. I got him all set up at the property. Um, but before he went back, he said, uh, if you ever need anything, just pick up the phone and call me. You won't have any problems. Just pick up the phone and call me. Um, and subsequently, about seven months after that, I got a red pink slip uh, saying I was going to be laid off from U.S. Air. And uh, he was like, catch the first plane out. So not only did I catch the first plane out, I refused to buy a round trip. I only bought one way because I knew that if things got difficult, like this was it, you know, this was like the, my flights were done. There was no back and forth anymore. Like I'm going to go, but I'm not coming back until I can make it. And I think by me doing what I did, that's, you know what I mean? That really helped. So, yeah, I bought one-way ticket, bro. <laughs>